worked for the Carpenters Union, Local 388. I worked for 15 years almost as a, a, a worker at the Internal Revenue under the National Employees Treasurers Union. I am a union person. I am an employer, I am an entrepreneur, and I am pro-union. Always have been, always will be. My main focus today is to just get everyone to understand that with the panel here and all of you and everything that we're doing, my main focus is to get us to come together and do the right thing for ourselves, for our families, and for the people on this planet Earth. The citizens of the world are tired of being used and abused and most of all, murdered. And most of the time, for nothing at all. Free those prisoners, the political ones, everybody. I'm so sick of it. I'm done. I'm so sick of it. All I know is, what do I want? Freedom. 15, freedom, justice, equality, you want it all. Give it up or else. I cannot take it no more. I'm, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. And I know y'all sick and tired of being sick and tired of being sick and tired. Sick and tired. <laughs> but I will leave you with that last thing that I really wanted to say to everybody. This is economic warfare. Y'all know it. We know it. They know it. But as St. Augustine said, an unjust law is no law at all. And they've been using them against us forever. And now it's time for us to make our own laws. Freedom, justice, and equality. Today and every day. Thank you. So we have um, uh, one final um, element of this panel. Um, you know, there's a union that time after time brings busloads of workers to major demonstrations. There's a union here today uh, that again and again pri provided sound and stage for anti-war, Occupy, and the Black Lives Movement. And this union has been in a fight for their lives. They've been um, threatened with um, concessions, existential threats from Viola, a French-based uh, global conglomerate. It's the Boston Bus Drivers Union. Uh, you come up now. Uh, you have steel workers, 8751. Now, they tried to stop this union by firing a four of its leaders. The rank and file responded to that threat by electing those four fired uh, leaders in a solidarity election this week, saying no. Their felony charges have, um, have been defeated, but the truth is that they're still facing charges. I want to read the names uh, and urge you to take action. Uh, we have before us from the Boston Bus School Drivers Local, President-elect Andrew uh, Francois, Vice President uh, Stephen Kirschenbaum, Treasurer-elect George Scott, Recording Secretary Claude J. St. Germain, Executive Board Guide-elect Chantal Cossimer, Team Leaders Nora Braggs and Bobby Trainham. Let's uh, give them a round of applause for fighting a good fight. about their case today or be inspired to call the mayor Walsh in Boston. He can order the fire uh, union workers to be hired and I'm sure you can find out more about it um, outside. So they voted this week to come here and express their solidarity with our effort. 
let's express um, our solidarity with their effort to defend uh, workers under attack um, here at home. Thank you all very much. Now, th this is the end of our panel, but don't get up. Before I close, I just want to draw uh, the obvious conclusion. Uh, I don't know about you, but I think it's pretty clear that uh, we should feel optimistic. We have some of the raw materials, the leadership for rebuilding a movement that can link the wars of, against working people abroad and the working people uh, at home. Uh, we've seen testament to that today, um, and, um, and it's obviously a real uh, possibility before us. If you want to be part of that effort, please do not leave without getting your organization to join the United um, National Anti-War Coalition uh, to be part of the discussions and activities to advance um, that perspective. Uh, next, I'm going to introduce, and so, oh, oh go ahead. <laughs> Thank you, good afternoon. It's an honor for us to be here today. It's an honor personally for me to be here. Excuse me for saying this. Every time it's, it's such an event like this happen on a Saturday, I have to say this. I worship my Lord on Saturdays. But after my church, there is no other place I'd like to be than this place here. Because I was told by my same Lord that if you're doing good, it's all lawful. And coming to a, an event like this where they talk about free homia from illegal injustice that the police and um, government put on him, and on all the other political prisoners, this is doing good. Yes, it is. When you come to stuff, stuff like this, because I am from a union, like you heard before here, that is a union that's been fighting since the union has been founded by one of the founders here. The only founders left in the union is Steve Kirkman from the Workers World. And I learned a lot of a great deal of things from, from this union right here. This is why I said I, I, I am proud to be here today to ask any racism to stand with people that says end the, end the wars and stuff, put money in education and have equal opportunities for, for workers all over the place and stop police brutality against uh, some police brutality. With this, uh, we participate, participating at, in, in, in Boston, where we're from, in all of justice, economic justice, march, protest, even even on the risk of getting arrested by cops um, in, in these things. Um, and like I said, I'm from a union that actually uh, went to jail for, 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 for standing together for justice. So, with that I have to give you a short history about this Violia. The Violia is not that I want to do publicity for, for them, but before they came, they, they figured four of us out. You can see on, on our best pocket right here, there was a, a, a hand, hands up the four um, picture with four of us on it. And on the table where you are, there is lifted with our pictures on it. That says call the mayor and everything else. They figured us out before they, they even came. And they mustered their love when they came in to find a weak leadership there. This is where we got a break from the union. The union went to a sabbatical for three years. It's a bad one, unfortunately. But uh, we were, along with 
people like you, good folks like you, that uh, fight these, these companies. Uh, we were able to fight these companies. We still have some challenges because the four of us still being illegally fired. The mayor is playing little divisions with the, with the small group, with the old regime, but thank God that we have we won the election by a landslide for all positions that the team won. Our team is called Team Solidarity. Um, this morning we left Boston at 6, 6.30 to get up here and I will spend the whole day here to be able to, to address you, to talk to you because we still have some issues to work on. But uh, I want to thank everybody that goes out to Boston and went to Boston to, to, to be with us in all the things. Uh, besides, there was a continued framework to try to put our founder in jail on some junk child charges. Um, it spent about almost six months in the courts, but we won this. We keep having victories after victories. When you have power like this, when you stand against, against injustice, when you stand with, 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 with people that want to, to, to do right, the right thing by the people. So I end by saying, uh, let's stay together, let's continue the fight. Have the, have the, some of you join the, the fight with, with you and that, and we work as well so we can have a, a powerful 